I'm Priscilla Lombardi, and here's what made news this week. In Stanford, the city is working to repair $6 million in damage done to its beaches from the storm. This includes channel dredging as well as repairing fences, docks, and seawalls. The city's director of operations says the shoreline parks were hit the hardest. We've restored all the sand on all beaches and we've, we've screened the sand as well. Stanford is scheduled to open its beaches on May 1st. This is the opportunity for owners to go beyond the low-hanging fruit in terms of energy conservation. In Norwalk, Governor Daniel Malloy joined state officials and the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection to announce Connecticut's first energy efficiency project. 26 or 28 other states around the nation have done this, so it's great to see Connecticut uh, put this into practice and, and see this project come to fruition. The CPACE program will be funded through the Connecticut Industrial Property Assessed Clean Energy Program. It offers affordable financing for energy improvements for commercial properties. Greenwich is committed to furthering education in the arts and is happy that Arthur Murray Dance Studios does such a wonderful job of teaching their students the joys of dancing. In Greenwich, First Selectman Peter Tessie proclaimed April 4th as Arthur Murray Day. The Arthur Murray International Franchise has been teaching communities to dance for 101 years. We have been the silent leader in health and wellness for 101 years now. And we've seen just amazing, amazing things. It is so gratifying. Tessie says he's grateful to have the ballroom in Greenwich, noting it's important for the community to embrace the culture of arts. We want to have a community that uh, embraces all forms of activities. The arts and culture is a critical part of a community. I'm Priscilla Lombardi, and that's what made news this week on itsrelevant.com.